Lori Laughlin, the actress, is now entering a not guilty plea for her role in the college admissions scandal. Let's get over to CNN's Bryn Gingras. She has all the details. Now, Bryn, you've been following this from the very, very beginning. We were waiting to see what the move would be for Lori Laughlin, and now we, and now you know. Exactly. Kate. You know, we were hearing that they weren't ready to take the plea uh, agreement with the uh, government at this point. And when I say they, meaning her and her husband, who are both accused in this college admission scheme. But now this is just a formal uh, paperwork that has been filed in the courts there in Boston that she is going to plead not guilty. She's uh, noticing or saying that she's received the superseding indictment, as did 15 other parents, saying uh, they've got that extra charge of money laundering against them now. And now she's going to waive a a formal arraignment and plead not guilty. So essentially, she doesn't want to appear uh, in court again to make that formal uh, arraignment and make that formal not guilty plea. So it does appear that she is going to fight this. Uh, again, the government has always said they can, you know, take a plea agreement at any point, but it does look like they are not ready to take this plea and they're going to fight these charges. Can you remind folks, because every, every case, every yeah accusation is different depending on each one of these parents, right? Can you right. remind folks what uh, Lori Laughlin and her husband are accused of, how the, uh, what they're accused of and charged with with regard to getting their kids into school? Yeah, essentially, she and her husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannulli, are accused of paying half a million dollars uh, to get both of their daughters into USC um, by using this scheme, uh, the mastermind behind it, Rick Singer. Now, he basically helped them alter photos, uh, get their daughters in as crew recruits, even though neither of them have ever rode that sport. Um, and they basically have been at USC this entire time. And the, the argument there is that they shouldn't be because they went through this side door of admissions um, without actually applying the way other students have. So, uh, of course, they've seen so much backlash. We even reported last week their youngest daughter, who's uh, sort of a social media influencer, Olivia Jade, she is almost staying off social media at this point because she's receiving hateful comments on her posts um, because of all of this. And really, their fates are in question. We know that USC at this point is keeping <coughs> their admissions into their school on hold while this is still being investigated on a case by case basis. And we also know the government may pass on more charges to some of these students. Um, and that may also be a bargain, bargaining chip for some of these parents. Again, 16 of them um, now entering not guilty pleas like Lachlan and Giannulli. Um, it's possible that their children could face more charges and that might be a bargaining chip for the government to say, you know, your kids are going to face these charges if you don't plea uh, and make an agreement with us. So we'll have to see how this plays out in the courts. But for now, this is their first step, pleading not guilty officially in the Boston courtroom. Oh, this is really amazing. All right, Bryn, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Let me bring in yep. CNN legal analysts and former federal prosecutors, Ellie Honig and Jennifer Rogers, on this. Um, <clears throat> I want to get into kind of the different application of, of how different defendants, if you will, are, are handling these charges and accusations against them because there are so many parents wrapped up in this. But Ellie, just first your reaction to uh, Lori Laughlin and her husband, the, the fashion designer, pleading not guilty. I think it's a big risk, Kate, and, and I think it's a big mistake. Uh, the evidence against Lori Laughlin looks very strong, including recorded conversations. And generally in federal court, the rule is, from the prosecutor's perspective, the best plea offer is going to be the first one. And it only gets worse mm. as you get closer and closer to trial because the prosecutor sinks more and more resources into the case. And it looks like what happened here is what prosecutors do. And I handled a lot of multi-large number of defendant cases. You tell the whole group, you say, here's the deal. You can take your plea by April, whatever. If you take the plea then, we'll give you this deal. If not, we're adding these additional charges. We saw the money laundering charges added, and then you're going down a whole new road. Uh, Jennifer, what do you think of what Bryn was saying there, of the, the possibility that the prosecutors have, have held out there that there could be charges against some of, the, some of these kids, some of these students, and what that would mean when it comes to their parents? Yeah, well, that's only, of course, going to apply to the students who knew about the scheme and who voluntarily participated in the scheme. So it right. may not actually apply for all of these families. But for those who actually have kids who are chargeable, I think it's going to be a huge factor. I mean, I can't imagine allowing a child of mine to plead to a charge or be charged with a, a criminal offense for something that I did. So it, it should be a big deal for them. And so if we just look at, and there are, obviously there are many, many parents that have been charged in this. If you just look at, let's see, the, the, the different 
kind of approach, if you will, Ellie, between Lori Loughlin and her husband and Felicity Huffman, the other actress. Felicity Huffman, when she was facing these charges, she took that deal. She took a plea deal. She Then she put out this statement. I mean, and I remember saying, I am in full acceptance of my guilt and with deep regret and shame over what I have done. I mean, she went that she went one route for sure. And it looks like Lori Loughlin and her husband are taking an entirely different route. What it's two also two different situations of how they went about they're accused of going about getting their kids into college. One went the we're going to pretend they were playing a sport that they actually weren't route and then Felicity Huffman actually they paid they allegedly paid $15,000 to an organization to facilitate um, her daughter cheating on the SATs. What do you think? Right. Of I think Felicity Huffman is going the full contrition route, and I think that's the smart play here. Anytime you have a case come in from the defense point of view, I think you have to assess quickly, is this a trial case, a case we might be able to beat, or is this a sentencing case, a case where we're not going to be able to overcome the charges, we're just trying to minimize the damage on sentencing. I took one look at this case, and I've talked to other defense lawyers on our staff here who said this is a sentencing case. Um, and I think Felicity Huffman has a realistic chance to avoid prison as a result. Her sentencing range under the federal guidelines, which is advisory, it's not mandatory, but it's important, is four to ten months. And when you get it down to that level, you have a reasonable chance to convince a judge to spare your client uh, any prison time. And I think we're going to see a big difference in the end results for Huffman and Laughlin. Jennifer, just kind of a final thought of kind of what, what, the, next ste what the next steps are here. I mean, this, th this is a huge batch of cases, and they're all playing out. I mean, it's going to be, for some, it's a fast track, right? They're, gonna, they're, they're pleading guilty, and they're going to be sentenced. And for others, I mean, this, could, this looks like, for Lori Laughlin, this is going to play out over a long period of time. That's right, Kate. I mean, when you charge this many defendants at once, what you're trying to do at the beginning as prosecutors is to thin the herd, right? You're trying to get a bunch of those folks out of the case so that you can focus on those remaining. So what they'll be doing with Lori Lachlan and the others who don't plead is continuing to gather evidence, maybe adding charges in order to persuade them that they actually don't want to take this to trial, and then, of course, preparing for trial for those who don't want to plead guilty. So it is at the beginning stages for those, and prosecutors will keep on working and keep on getting people out of the case as they can with guilty pleas. Yeah. All right. Jennifer, Ellie, thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. That breaking news coming in just this hour.